you will be a perfect positive person. Now come to positive thinking. We have finished negative thinking. One of the reasons for this, how to tackle that. Now how to reform our thinking process. Okay. How do I think positively? The first and foremost, when you get up from bed, just cheer up. Smile. Smile. When you smile, you feel so happy and you feel so at peace. So start the day with cheers. Smile like a baby. Smile like a baby in the morning. Babies are innocent. They don't have any problems, they don't have any classes, okay, no, no examinations, nothing. Just they get up from the bed, they cry for milk, the mother, the moment mother gives milk, oh, then they go sleep, they play. So try to be like a baby, it's impossible, but try to take it possible. Don't worry, as long as you are honest, as long as you are sincere, as long as you are doing your duty, don't fear for anything. You are perfect, according to your own estimation. According to you, you are perfect. So be happy. Always smile. That makes you feel happy. So the whole day depends how you greet your day. How you greet your day in the morning. If you wish to have a good day, the whole day will be good. If you wish to have a bad day, if you get up and determine that I have to beat that person today. Yesterday he scolded me. So I have to give a lesson to him. If you decide like that, the whole day will be upset. So always look at the positive side of a situation. Be an optimist. Be an optimist. Don't be a pessimist. Look at this bottle. Say, how, how, how does it look, the bottle? Is it looking half empty? Or is it looking half full? There are two ways for this. You can say that this is half empty or you can say that this is half full. So the difference between a pessimist and an optimist is optimist always sees the positive side of situation. If an optimist say here, the bottle is half full, at least 40% full is good. It is enough for me to survive today with this blood water. This water is enough for me to survive today. Okay, so always be optimist. So like this glass, it should be, whenever you see it, a glass which is half full, you have to say that it is half full, not half empty. Present. Yeah, so similar example. Next, always have people around you or positive. Always have to try to have positive people around you. Always try to have positive people. Even friendship. When you do friendship, the person should be positive. Try to do friendship with someone who is taking you to positive side, who is giving you positive thoughts, who is helping you. Don't try to... Even if you have friendship, don't cut off, but try to surround yourself with positive. He's positive, I know. <laughs> Shakir is positive. That is why he has come here. All people who are here are positive. See, those who came for the first session, they may not be positive. But those who have been coming each session, they are someone special. You have already transformed. You are already a winner. Those who have attended this workshop successfully for the, all the sessions, at least 60%, you have become the winner. Now you know what to do. And if you don't become winner after that, that's your fault. Because you have come to know your strengths, your opportunities, your weaknesses, and how to overcome them. So you are already conquered. You are already the winner. You are the optimist. Okay? There is only, there is only some time before you reach your goal and become actual number one and get heroic welcome here in Libya. Always be positive. The next question, how to adapt positive thinking? How to improve self-belief? How to develop willpower? So I told you, do self-talking. 
self-talking, self-talking. Talk to yourself about your strengths, your beliefs, how you are going to achieve, how you are going to conquer your enemies, your opportunities. So self-talking includes your positive thinking, your self-belief, and it makes you realize your dreams. It makes you realize your dreams. It creates multiple sources of income. So try to have multiple sources of income. That means money, money, money. Money automatically comes. As long as you are in control of yourself, you are in control of your thoughts, you believe in yourself, money automatically flows to you. I guarantee you. Right now you may not have money, but if you have health, if you have a positive mind and strength and courage, the money automatically comes. Uncountable money. So, while doing self-talking, what you do, just you close your eyes. Even at work, when you go to office, just close your eyes. When you are feeling down, just say to yourself, don't say it outside. I am a believer, I am a believer. Nothing is happening to me. I am going to make it. I am going to win the situation. And you are number one. You are so powerful. There is some enormous power inside you that drives you to reach your goal. So you need to focus on that, do self-talking, visualize everything you want. While talking, not only talking, just dream what you want. A beautiful house after five years. Dream the house, picture that house. That makes you becoming effective, that makes you committed. This one. Maybe you would like to visit India and uh, see the Taj Mahal, that's the beauty of India. You need to have money, so for that you need to have a goal, you need to reach that goal. So whenever you feel down, imagine the Taj Mahal, your family, you are just going there, enjoy it. That brings you back to normal and that motivates you and that increases your positive power, the self-confidence. <laughs> And you need to try Excuse me. Okay. Okay. So, you want to own this aircraft? There are many people, they are having their private aircraft. Do you believe it? There are many people on this planet, they are having their own aircrafts. The aircraft contains a beautiful bathroom, a beautiful bedroom, a drawing room. So that means they do like a house. It is happening for them. It is also possible for you. But not today, not tomorrow. If you have a long range goal and break down the goal into small, small steps, all of the steps, if you are really sure of it, it's possible. Charity. Now, next, how to stay positive? Please paste posters, codes, like these things. Like those posters in your bedroom. There are no big problems, there are just a lot of little problems. Remember, today is the tomorrow in one day about energy. These all things are essential for you to stay motivated. Okay? Have the posters. Maybe if you have like a very good car, just have a poster of that car in your bedroom. The moment when you are going to bed, you are getting from the bed, you look there. Oh, this is my... So where can I do self-talk? I told you to do self-talking. Something initiates. The trigger is the one that initiates the thinking. The trigger could be anything. The trigger could be your friend. The trigger could be your enemy. The trigger could be your boss. The trigger could be an angry car driver who hits you. The trigger could be a violent cinema you are watching. And someone wins, someone loses, sitting in Al-Baida in your house, you become upset. Wow. 
somebody somewhere plays a game which has no relation with you, you are sitting in your house with your family, you become so upset, you stop reading that day. Absolutely. Or you stop reading or you make other person stop reading. If other person is reading, yes, stop it here. That fellows, they have lost the game, you are still reading. Close it. So, is it required? So, there is some trigger that is controlling our thoughts. The trigger could be anything, even football match. And it could be external trigger, external event, like a phone call. I am reading very well, suddenly my phone rings. And I receive some message. After that, my mood is spoiled. I stop reading. So, external phone calls are external triggers. Then the trigger could be internal event. Internally, if I am free, I have nothing to do, I start thinking, I start using my own brain and start making my own picture of the situation. And mostly we do negative picture. Tomorrow if it goes wrong, what shall I do? Tomorrow if I cannot do examination, well, what can I do? Tomorrow if the teacher asks me why you are not doing homework, what shall I do? If teacher asks me why you are not doing homework, what shall I do? But you don't think that if I do the homework, the teacher will appreciate. We always try to think negatively. The thought may be internal. This is trigger. So sometimes triggers are there is always externals and internals, I told you. Then from the trigger, the second step is something called thoughts. Thoughts. So the trigger initiates, there is some trigger, we don't have any control on trigger, by the way. You cannot control trigger. For example, you are just walking and somebody comes from opposite side, he hits you. You cannot control that. You are a human being. Okay? The trigger you cannot control, but immediately after trigger, we have thoughts. And the thoughts, we give meaning to the trigger. In the thinking process, the moment trigger initiates, we start giving meaning. If person scolds you, immediately you meaning that he does not like me, he hates me. If my boss speaks negatively of me, I start thinking that this boss is targeting me. He is not liking me. So he is not happy with me. So I reform my thinking process. Because I always tend to be negative. Then, once the thinking is done, we go to mood or emotions. Depending upon my thinking, my mood changes. If I have happy thoughts, I become happy. If I have sad thoughts, I become sad. So, the mood. Trigger, the thinking process, then mood. And you know the difference between the trigger and mood, how much time it takes? I have a trigger here. I have thinking process here, I have my mood here. How much time will it take for me to move from this point to this point? How much time it takes? Two seconds. Minutes? Yes. Just fraction of a second. The moment trigger, the moment someone sees that you are angry, you reciprocate angry. The difference between thinking, the tricking event and your mood and emotion is only a fraction of a second. A minute time element. So the thoughts lead to our mood and emotions. And if the trigger is uh, making us happy, we feel happy. If the trigger is making us sad, we are feeling sad. It's all these things. So you become maybe, the mood may be anger, you become angry. Or you may be depressed, or you may be anxious. Act or behave. So depending upon the trigger, the thinking process is initiated. Depending upon thinking process, we have the mood or emotions. Depending upon the mood, we act. So the same taxi driver example, if he is angry, if he does not obey us, if we scold him, he should, my understanding is, I am right, he is wrong. <coughs> so, if I scold him, he must accept me. So, I am trying to control him. If he is not in my control, I become angry. This is my problem. Because I am right. 
I always think I'm right, the other fellow is wrong. So since he is wrong, he should change himself. This is my. If he is changing himself, I am happy. Please change yourself so that I am happy. But I will not change myself. Sorry. I won't change myself. I am sorry. Please change yourself, Roberto. Please change yourself so that I am happy. Please change yourself. I am happy. This is the way we are living nowadays. Because we give our remote control to the other fellow and see his emotion accordingly, we become okay. If he is happy, okay, I am also happy. So, what we have to do here, what we have to transform ourselves from negative to positive, not changing the trigger. The trigger is the opposite fellow, the trigger is the angry taxi driver, the trigger is the football match, the trigger is your boss, the trigger is your friend, the enemy. But what we have to reform is thoughts. We have to concentrate on this thoughts. Something is going to happen. Today you teach me, I am starting, when I am getting to the college, some bad person, my boss will come and will definitely scold me. But I am so powerful. Even if he scolds me, let me be so generous. Let me be positive. Let me say thanks. Is there anything wrong with me? Okay. Please tell me what is my mistake. Okay, thank you for that. Tomorrow I'll try to correct the mistake. So we have to concentrate on these thoughts and this trigger we cannot change. We have to change our thoughts. If we change the thoughts, automatically the problem solves. So before trying to change other person, change yourself. Because we cannot control the other fellow. They will not change, I am sure. They will not change. But you can change. If you want to be successful, if you want to be positive, you change yourself. Change your thinking process. Whenever you get angry, just immediately close your eyes, think about the trigger. What is making me angry? This trigger. This trigger is what? Okay, this part Mr. X. Mr. X or Miss X is making me problem. So right, Miss X. The trigger, the emotion, anger. Now go to home. Take that this, take that paper. Okay, Mr. X made me angry, so I am very angry. So what should I do? So you write something, you practice that. Even Mr. X antagonizes me. Even if he irritates me, let me not bother. Let me be positive. And do the self-talking. Record your DVD in your self-talking. So that when you just go next time, the new DVD will play and you are okay. So here we try to change the trigger, we change the emotion. So there is a small exercise for you. Just have a table like this. And whenever you go to, each day have a paper with you and this table. Whenever you become hang, angry, just try to note down this table, the emotion I got and the trigger, maybe boss, maybe thought of failure in IELTS examination or maybe thinking about future. When I go to think about my future, I'm not finding time. Okay, I'm just working very hard, still I'm not able to manage. Maybe I have to prioritize my activities. So what is making me depressed or sad? So you have to think and note down, go back home, and again prioritize what is the best thing that is required for me to do tomorrow. Plan it, execute it, and it helps you.